Today, I'm going to be showing you guys the secret to rotoscoping in After Effects. This is going to be the absolute easiest way to separate your subject from the background. Let's hop right into it. All right, guys, so we have this clip from the Yeet Pop and Music video pulled up here. And to break you guys down through this, up here is our rotoscope tool, the Roto Brush. We can click on it to have it selected, or we can click and hold to go from the Roto Brush tool to the Refine Edge tool. Now, the difference between these is the Roto Brush tool is to select the subject, and the Refine Edge tool is for stuff like hair, for those really, really thin edges that you want to get perfect. So we're going to be using the Roto Brush tool at first. Now, before we even get started here, this is the secret. We're going to drag and drop Lumetri color on the footage, guys, and go into basic correction. Now, as you can see, Ye is wearing a black outfit and the background is kind of blue, so this is going to be an easier clip to rotoscope. But if your clips are a little bit harder, what you can do is you can go ahead and boost the contrast and then boost the highlights to max and boost the whites to max and then bring the blacks down. And now, as you guys can see, if we do before and after, everything's going to be really blown out. So everything that's white is going to be blown out and everything that's black is going to be blown out more. So we can rotoscope this a lot easier. Now, clicking on the rotoscope tool, guys, we're going to go down and we're going to double click on our layer and that's going to open it up in a layer. Now, we're going to have this green brush. Holding control and clicking, we can change the size of the brush to whatever we want. And then holding alt and drawing will be the eraser tool. So, for example, just clicking and dragging normally, we're going to outline yeet. As you guys can see, everything that's being selected has a pink outline around it. And if we were to go back into the composition, that would only be selected. So, going back into here, we're just going to outline around him. And one thing I forgot to mention, make sure your roto version is at 2.0 and the quality is at best. And once we have that set, we're going to continue rotoscoping here. Using the scroll wheel and then holding spacebar and dragging, we can really zoom in and get those edges. Once again, I'm just holding the spacebar, clicking and dragging, and then scrolling the zoom out. All right, and then going through layer by layer, you guys are going to make sure that everything is surrounded by the pink. See, he's going to be moving. His hand pops out here. We're going to hold control, bring the brush down, hold alt, and we're going to get rid of that area there. This is kind of like using a paintbrush to select and deselect what you want. Just going through frame by frame, going to make sure this is perfect here. Boom, his hand pops up there. We want to fill that in and you're just going to go through until it's perfect. And once everything looks perfect to you guys, we can go back into the composition and we can play with the feather. This is going to smooth out the edges and make them a lot smoother if you're putting stuff in behind. Uh, the shift edge here, it's going to expand it or take it down. I recommend just playing with the feather and maybe the shift edge a little bit. And then if you guys want to turn on motion blur, it's up to you guys depending on your project. I'm just going to leave it off for now. Going back into the layer, guys, once we have everything selected, I recommend going and freezing it. Now, what this does is if you are back in your composition and you have a lot of things rendering when you're trying to play it back. What freezing will do is it won't have to render the rotoscope every time. It'll already be pre-rendered. So we're just going to do that quick. And boom, once your roto is done, you can go back into composition and you can turn the Lumetri color off. And then boom, you are set with a perfect roto. We use that Lumetri color to kind of boost everything to make it easier. And if you guys want, you can duplicate this layer here, go to the bottom and then delete the roto off of it. And then you guys can put whatever you want in the background. So we're going to go and we're going to throw some floating 3D hearts in here from our new pack. And boom, as you guys can see, just like that, we can throw these behind yeet if you guys enjoyed this video, I recommend checking out our last video, which was a really cool 3D chromatic yeet text effect done in After Effects. And I also recommend checking out this crazy Sofago explosion and meteor effect done in After Effects as well. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.